what I understand is she started, I know she started out in Yiddish theater and she was in that theater as a little girl and as a, a teenager and, and, um, and then performed in other Yiddish, she performed with her family, but then I think she performed with Maurice Schwartz, I believe, and was part of his company. And um, so other Yiddish companies. And, but then she, she was able to cross over and, and do Broadway performances as well. And, um, you know, then Harold Klerman, uh, he had an awareness of Stella and, um, and, and he recruited her to be part of the group theater. So she joined the group in, as a founding member, which would have been in the, in the realm of uh, 1929, 19, in, in the 20s, to the early 30s. So I think the first performance was in 31 and the group disbanded in 41. But she did those 10 years with the group, or the better part of those 10 years. In the midst of that, she, I mean, another unique, I think, important part of Stella's life as an Adler is that she studied with Richard Boleslavsky and Marie Spinskaya at the American Laboratory Theater, I think. So, I mean, what family lore, I mean, I've, I've known from early age that her, her her cousin her brothers and sisters everybody made big fun of her for studying you know what a funny thing to do since they'd been acting since they were kids and but that's that talk that tells you about Stella and um, who she was and so she did that um, formative training then and uh, somewhere in the midst of that she went to New York University and got a, a, a degree um, but then in 1934, on a trip to, I think, first Russia, that, where they came back through Paris, um, she met with Konstantin Stanislavsky and, um, and ended up studying with him, working with him um, daily for five weeks. She spoke about it a lot, yeah. She, I, I don't remember her, she and I. Well, I remember one important thing she said to me was that... Um, she said, I'll be remembered for having taught Stanislavski's technique, but most of what I teach, she said, didn't come from Stanislavski. Um, I'm sure that's not true, but I do feel that when you studied with her, you were absorbing information that she got from Stanislavski and, and information that she got from her mother and father. And, um, and she that was something that I think students of hers that spent real time in her classes would tell you that she she would sometimes speak Yiddish and to show how the language felt and the difference between the Yiddish language and the English language um, and she felt that the Yiddish language was a warmer more intimate language and um, she probably say the same thing about Russian <laughs>